If I told you this is a licensed game that was released 12 years after the movie it's based on, you'd probably expect the worst. If I told you it's a platformer from the same team that does the Starfy games, you'd probably expect the best. Truth is, it falls somewhere in between. Too decent to be bad, too forgettable to be good. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas, the Pumpkin King. It's like a jack-o'-lantern that's it's getting old and kind of squishy, but still like a week away from rotting. So the game takes place prior to the events of the 1993 film. Pumpkin King is basically a prequel that shows how Jack became the Pumpkin King. For fans of the movie, that's an awesome concept, but it's never an awesome game. Honestly, the Pumpkin King suffers from what so many licensed games suffer from, uninspired design and unpolished gameplay. Obviously, this is a side-scrolling platformer. You control Jack as he platforms, and it's basically Castlevania Light, which is kind of fitting. Huge non-linear levels with hidden treasures, different paths, even the mechanics are kind of similar. But there's a difference too. It's it's nowhere near as sharp as Castlevania, and there's no loincloths, which which is always disappointing. Actually, I I found Jack plays like a bumbling buffoon. Kind of stumbles around with his lanky frame. Even the simplest things, like jumping and climbing ladders, are kind of a hassle. Especially jumping from one ladder to another. And the levels are designed in such a way that a lot of the ledges and platforms are barely within reach, so you need a perfect jump to get there. With controls like this, it's like, it's like platforming with a stick bug. <laughs> There's a lot of backtracking and exploring, which could be cool, but you know all the, all the enemies you killed on the way down that long passageway to grab that one thing? Yeah, they're all there again on your way back up. So there's some old school cheapness here as well. And what really sucks is that you know, it's the same enemies over and over. This army of like eight bugs, which isn't even an army, really. It's more like a club, it's like a bug club. But you know, I think the biggest disappointment is the style, or lack thereof. This is a game based on a movie that's all about style, yet none of it makes its way into the game. Instead, it has terrible cutscenes that look like fan art. It really just misses the movie's trademark style and charm. And as a fan of the film, that was a real bummer. I mean, you could do a lot with a Nightmare Before Christmas game. The Pumpkin King seems to disagree. Yeah, I guess with games like this, the thought is, well, if people like the movie, they'll be pumped just to have a game based on it. Maybe that's the case for, like, like children. I'm no child, Jack Skellington. I expect more. I demand more. Actually, I don't expect much from anything. But if you're going to be in a platformer, you better control tightly and have some fun level designs. This game doesn't. The Pumpkin King might keep kids happy, but... It's too generic and forgettable to be worth anyone else's time. It's a boring game. It's a boring game! Boring game! Boring game!